Hello all. Welcome to the course Azure Databricks and PySpark. So now in this lecture, let us try to understand how to read a CSV file into your data frame with schema and headers section. So before going to see that, please like, subscribe and share the video. So now let us see, first of all, how you will read a file. So if you go to the data part actually, so here uh, in the DBFS file system, I'm going to read under type, uh, tables folder. So I'm going to read this particular file actually. So let me copy this path. So let us take Spark API format path. So then go here. So now here, let me take a data frame one. So we are going to read this file data into data frame one. So for that, we need to use the Spark dot, click on tab. So you are going to read a file, right? So we have a function called read that you can see. Then, then again, click on tab. So you can see, first of all, you can read by using CSV actually. So that is what, because we are going to read a CSV file, right? So that is one way. So not format CSV, let us take CSV now. So here in this, we need to pass a path actually. So with this, this file data is coming into DF1 actually, data frame one. So after reading that, let us try to do one thing. Let us see it's a schema actually. So for that, let us take the print schema function. So this particular data frame schema, let us see. So let us run this. So you can see what is happened here. So these are the column names and these are the data types for each column and nullable. So that means uh, uh, you may have null values actually. So that is what happened. This is one way you can read the file into a data frame. So we have another way also that is what df2, let us try to take spark dot read dot first of all we can mention the format so because this is more generic we can read many file types right so here you have to mention the file type as csv then on top of that you can go for the load function so here we need to pass a path file path so now you can see this file loading into this data frame as a csv file okay that means it is going to read a csv file now, in this case also, let us just see it's a schema. Now you can see here, here even data frame two schema is same. Both of them is same, you can observe that. Total eight columns are there. So these are the column names assigned by uh, PySpark actually. How we would know? So let us try to print any data frame data actually. So display data frame one, let us see first of all. So in the data frame one, you can see these are the column names, right? So eight column names are there. And uh, you see the first row actually, EMP ID, E name, job. These are actually the column names. But uh, column names are all uh, column names are also came as a data actually, one of the row in the. So even let us see the data frame two also, total 15 records it is written, just observe that. Then data frame two, if you see, so in the second data frame also same thing actually. So both of them reading in the same manner. So now these column names uh, we want actually this data first row data as a column name we need. So that is very simple. So for that, let us let us take the data frame three uh, equal to so spark dot read dot. So while reading we should mention uh, first row as a header actually. So that's what you can see. Uh, if you click on tab, so you can see options section. So in the options, you have to mention first row as a header. So header is exist or not. Yes, we should pass as a true. Then on top of this, let us try to read a CSV file. So that means you would just pass the path. For the CSV, whatever be the first option. For that, in addition to that, we just added options and a header as true actually. So now in this case, let us try to see it's a schema actually. So that is print schema. So you can see that. <clears throat> see here, first row came as a header actually. Okay. So that means first row became a columns now. Now still if you observe each column data type, if you observe, this is a string type. So now let us see it's a data actually, df3. So display. So of course, now you see column names came. 
okay first row as a column name but still if you see the first row uh, first column employee id is not a string it's a number and uh, even mgr is not a string it's a number higher date is a date type okay salary is a number commission is a number department is a number so but all of them by default it is taken as string when it is reading from a file actually so how you can get corresponding call uh, data types for each column actually so what we can do is first of all we can define a schema that schema we can map to this particular data frame actually so for that first of all we need to import so for that first of all we need to import few things actually spark dot sql dot types okay then import so the very first thing is structure type so we are going to define a schema right once one structure we are defining it so structure type then remaining things let us see uh, let us now define a schema so schema equal to structure type dot add we are going to add a columns actually here so the first column is employee id then its data type is what so employee id data type we should take as an integer type so let us add that let us try to import that first of all so integer type okay so that part we need to add integer type then uh, it is a nullable right so pass true actually then let us go to the next line so the next one is add next column is e name so you can see it is a e name then its data type is what string type right so let us import that also string type then let us take that here so string type then it is also nullable now the third column is job let us change accordingly job so job is also string type and uh, nullable so it is true third parameter then fourth column is mgr uh, it is a integer type right so we already imported then the next one is uh, higher date higher date is actually it is a date type so we need to import see here we need to import date type so that means here it should be date then the next one uh, it is a salary let us take now as a integer type then the next one is commission let us take commission is also as an integer then the last one is department number so let us take that also as a integer type integer type. so this way first of all we need to define its uh, schema actually so let us run this uh, it is throwing error sorry it is a pi spark actually let us try to take this so now it is done schema is defined okay that means there is a one structure where the column names like this and their data types and the corresponding uh, constraints actually so schema is defined now this schema we need to map to a data frame which is reading uh, actually so let us try to take a data frame 4 that is with the schema actually okay equal to spark dot read dot so now let us go uh, format so format is csv file see in the last one we seen uh, with options csv now let us observe the format actually now here options so first row as header right so header as true then next one is we need to map this schema to this data frame actually so that means whatever we are reading that uh, corresponding uh, schema as like this we are mentioning so schema of pass this schema whatever we define so its name is schema also now we need to load that right so take load then pass the path so let us copy that path from here same file we are going to read now paste it here. so that's what actually we just added extra uh, schema we defined a schema and then we are passing that schema to this data frame so that it is going to map accordingly and data types are going to attach accordingly so now let us see after after 
loading this file data into this uh, data frame as as we mentioned let us see it's a schema actually with the schema dot print schema okay now let us see so you can see employee id okay that is fine now their corresponding data types you can observe whatever we defined here that is mapped actually so emp id is integer and it is nullable e name is string and uh, it is nullable so accordingly all of them is attached so you can see the data also so that is display df4 underscore with the schema okay so you can see it's data 14 rows uh, returned and corresponding column names and here we see in their data types also so this way uh, we can read the data first of all into a data frame by using a csv function or by using a format and then load on top of that if you want to if you need a schema then we can uh, define a schema and then we can uh, map it uh, and also if first row if you have a headers then that if you want to consider as column names so then we can use uh, header actually so that is what in the options header as true if you mention it will pick automatically so this is the way we can read the csv file into data frame with the schema and headers okay hope you understand this betterly thank you very much for watching please like subscribe and share the video